Hello everyone, this is Rod Steven, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another property tour. Today, folks, we're gonna check out this beautiful custom home by AR Homes, and guys, this house is a showstopper. This triple story farmhouse is located on one of the premier lots in all of Lake Norman. It has beautiful finishes on the interior and exterior, including cedar posts and these two outdoor fireplaces. There's gorgeous landscaping here with several elevation changes wrapped by these beautiful decorative walls. You have a three car garage bay with expansive driveway for additional parking. This house has four bedrooms, five bathrooms, and is 5,091 total square feet and sits on 1.33 acres. The listing price here is $2.8 million. And real quick, before we start the tour, do me a huge favor and hit that like button and subscribe button to join my YouTube family. And without further ado, let's start the tour. All right, folks, welcome to the inside of this one of a kind custom home. So as you walk in, you have this expansive view of your entire first level. We have options to go straight ahead or to our right or left. First, let's head to our right and check out the living areas over here, right this way. So through this huge barn door, we have our first floor study. Take a look at how much natural light you get here. Just a beautiful space to work and enjoy some great views outside. Okay, so that does it for the office. Follow me into the main living area of this home, right this way. Okay guys, let's head into our family room. Let's check out this wide open space. I am loving all the details here. There's a ton of form and function. I am loving this feature fireplace here. It travels all the way up this massive wall encased in this gorgeous stacked stone. You have a cedar mantle, very true to the farmhouse aesthetic here. And you folks know I love when a builder leaves blank spaces to the side of the fireplace. It's such a nice detail because it allows you to come in and make your own design choices. Excellent. And guys, let's not forget these massive folding doors that give you a direct sight line to your waterfront view. The picture window is above, ceiling fan, and it's one of a kind beam detail that outlines the ceiling of this space. And I love how this transitions us into our formal dining space. Now this area almost becomes another sunroom, if you will, with these huge windows and our glass lighting doors, which open up beautifully to the outside patio that we'll take a look at a little bit later. Gorgeous chandelier here, and we can't skip that beautiful crown molding above that frames the space out so nicely. Okay, folks, that does it for this beautiful dining room. Do me a favor and follow me into this gourmet kitchen right this way. Wow. More details here in this breathtaking kitchen. One of the first features that will pop out here is this massive island with our Corian ash and gray quartz countertop. Another awesome detail is behind the island. You have this beautiful wrapped vent hood. And then we have our top of the line monogram appliances, a 48 inch six burner gas range, double ovens below. And then we have this gorgeous Kohler farmhouse sink Again, following the theme with our matte black fixtures that match so many of the other finishes. I mean, it's such a luxurious feeling here. I love these custom cabinets with the light gray color, soft closed dovetail drawers, and then we have our 60 inch side by side Electrolux refrigerator and freezer. To the left, we have a generous coffee or juice bar with open shelving above. A drawer microwave below and more storage. And then, folks. 
folks, we have a pantry. And this is not your average pantry. I love what they did with the layout here. They've built the entire entry door into the cabinetry. So your walk-in pantry is hidden away from everyone while you're entertaining. Man, you don't see pantries like this every day. Awesome. Alright folks, follow me into the next section of the home. Here we have our combo mud room and laundry. This is great for offloading those backpacks and shoes once you come in from your connected three car garage. Check this out. Coming back inside, we have our sink area, the spaces for your washer and dryer, and more cabinetry for storage. Now, as we come out of the mud room, you'll find another set of stairs to our left. At the top is an enormous bedroom suite, guys. This room is 460 square feet. That's larger than some studio apartments in New York City and it can be purposed for just about any use. A bonus or homeschool room for kids, double office if you're working remotely, an apartment for your recent college grad, or my personal favorite, the home theater. The options here are limitless. In the ensuite bath, you have a beautiful frameless shower, in Miami white counter with custom vanity, and then a walk-in closet towards the rear to round out the space. Hey folks, we haven't even finished our main floor tour just yet, but if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that like button and subscribe button. I'm Rod Steven, a luxury real estate broker here in Charlotte, and I help people relocate to the metro from all over the country. But if you're just here for the home tours, there's no harm at all in hitting that subscribe button. I promise you won't be disappointed. With that said, why don't you all follow me to the other wing of the main level, right this way. As we walk across the home, you'll see we have steps that lead down to our lower level, that we'll come back to a little bit later. You'll also find our first level powder room over to our left. Beautiful features inside here. Take a look. Okay, now we're in the primary bedroom vestibule that leads us to the suite wing. Follow me. All right, folks, step into this amazing primary bedroom. As you walk in, you can see we have this incredible bedroom space framed by this bank of windows that looks out to your incredible views. Now, as we swing back around into the room, you'll notice this awesome ceiling detail above. You also have this well thought out recess lighting for reading and highlighting any artwork on the wall. Very cool feature. All right guys, so the primary bath is really a showstopper. Let's step inside. As soon as you walk in, you're greeted by this incredible shower enclosure. Loving this wall of glass, the tile detail that goes all the way up the back wall and mirrors what you have on the floor. You also have this fantastic wood look tile on the back wall for contrast. dual vanities highlighted by this gorgeous white Carrera quartz so there's plenty of space for you and your partner decorative mirrors wall sconces and I love this window letting in so much natural light and on the other side of the bathroom I'm loving this oversized tub with more windows for natural light as well and if that wasn't enough there's even subfloor heating
then behind the bathroom, we have this expansive primary closet with custom cabinetry. Follow me. More than enough space for your clothes and accessories. All right, folks, that does it for this primary bedroom in the main level. Follow me as we head downstairs to check out more incredible spaces on the lower level, right this way. Okay guys, we're here in the lower level of the home, and wow, we have over 2,000 square feet to do what you want to with this basement. First thing that catches my eye is our wine bar and this leather granite countertop and custom stand cabinetry, as well as the pendant lighting, and an additional beverage center below with an unparalleled view of the lake in front of you. Excellent space. And right beside the bar is this glass paneled wine room. Now it's not temperature controlled, but that feature can certainly be added if you choose. Plenty of shelving here for more than 100 bottles of wine and other beverages. Very classy. To the left of those spaces, we have our club room area which is a perfect place for additional seating to frame out the space or a pool table if you want to move to a more game type setup. Against that back wall will be a perfect space for your projector screen or an 85 inch television. You already have AV connections already set there. You can watch the Panthers of the Hornets play or hang out here for movie night. And I love the expansiveness here, folks, as this space stretches to the opposite wall and area, which could be a second dining space. And you'll see why I say that in a moment. And behind all of this is an unfinished area. For me, with a proper contractor and budget, this could be an awesome fitness room. I can see a soft rubber floor here, speakers, and recessed lighting and a ton of equipment that's just hidden away from everybody. Awesome. Okay, so as we move to the other wing at the lower level, we have our bedrooms. Let's go take a look. So folks, this wing of the basement has two bedrooms and two full bathrooms. One is an ensuite and the other will help service the lower level. Beautiful details in this bathroom. I love the dark counters in this bathroom contrasted by these gold Moen fixtures. You have this beautiful white tile above the tub area and this very nice soap niche. This bedroom has very tall ceilings with this tray ceiling detail. Very nice touch. And you have a window for natural lighting and this huge walk-in closet. Now back down the hall and to your right is the other bedroom with an ensuite. This room comes in at 19 feet by 17 and a half feet. So there's room to spread out here. Again, nice tall ceilings. You have your walk-in closet. And then in your bathroom, there's a style stone Miami white countertop. Loving the frameless shower here with that white towel again up the shower wall in this huge soap niche. And we can't forget this exquisite floor tile. So if we walk over to the other side of the basement here, there's actually a space that can be used as a foyer coming in from the rear porch where you'd be able to greet your guests. Why might you ask? Well, because we're seeing multi-generational living more and more these days. I mentioned a few moments ago that you could use that secondary dining space down here. Well, this entire lower level can be configured to house and service what could be your in-laws, parents, kids coming home from college, who could potentially be living here. I have to say this is an awesome and thoughtful design aspect included here by the builder. All right, guys, that does it for this basement area. Let's head back upstairs and check out that patio right this way. Folks, check out this bifold door. Beautiful. Now 
now it's time to have some fun and soak up a little sunshine on this rear patio balcony and fireplace. And you guys know, I love to save the best for last. Let's circle back to the lower level and take a look outside that rear patio with that second fireplace and this gorgeous backyard. Oh, did I forget to mention you get your own dock and pier with this house? <laughs> Must've slipped my mind. Definitely time to go purchase that boat you've always wanted. guys so that does it for another excellent home tour on this channel thank you so much for joining me in cheryl's Ford today right off beautiful lake norman this house was amazing i love the farmhouse style and ar homes did a great job here if you happen to miss out on this one though ar homes has just broken ground on the copper pine community in davidson where you can build something just like this or even better let me know what you think down in the comment section and you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So many of you watch the tours but don't subscribe. It does help the channel. I appreciate each of you and your support. And thanks so much for spending some time with me today. Stay tuned for more tours like this one in and around the metro. That's my time for today. I'll see you all on the next property tour.